Hello friends, welcome to the stream. How is it going? I need to, I apologize because my iPad is kind of in your face, but it's fine. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Sometimes I'm alone. Sometimes I'm not. Oh my God. Is that the cat? Is that the cat singing that? Cause I've seen that many times and I'm obsessed with it. Hello, James. Welcome to the stream. Meeples over peoples. Hello. How is everyone? Happy Friday, y'all. Solo Thursday. Close, Reggie. Close. Very close. But no cigar. My man. <laughs> LOL, yes. I love that cat so much. That is freaking hilarious. Um, okay, so we are actually going to be playing some Solo Arc Nova, which um, hopefully you guys have... Yes, it is Emma. Hello, Emma. Um, hopefully you've been following along um, because our solo focus for the month of June was Arc Nova, and I played a crap ton of Arc Nova on BGA. I will say, I think I maybe played it physically um, three times. This might be the third time that I'm playing it solo physically. Um, the majority of my plays were on BGA, so yes. Love a good solo Thursday. Yes, we love it. Hi, Jenna. Love me some Arc Nova. It is so good. I've been obsessed. Um, Hey Jenna, glad I'm finally catching one of these live. Matt Brown, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. I'm happy that you're able to join as well. Also, Ryan, hello. Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday. I am going to try and shuffle this big ass deck of cards. Um, that's always my thing with this game is I always feel like I don't shuffle it enough. And then I end up getting a ton of like sponsor cards and stuff, which, you know, I'm trying to get more into the sponsor um, strategy, but I don't know. I just don't really go for sponsor cards very often. Let me know if you guys like to take the sponsor strategy or if you kind of avoid them like me. There are so many cards. I know, right? It's insane. Excited for this. Um, I've only played two player. Ooh, well, Ryan, you definitely need to, if you're a solo player, I definitely recommend trying it solo because it plays surprisingly easy and snappy solo, um, which I love. Um, Tolina, I love your name. I don't know if that is just a username or if that's your name, but that is a gorgeous name. Hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you? All right. Um, I do also want your guys' help because, let me switch over to this. I have two different um, maps that I'm wanting to try. So I need your guys' help choosing which of the two like special maps I go with. So I have this one here, which is the outdoors areas. So this means that this guy right here, um, it is right there on the map. Um, it says, uh, each adjacent standard enclosure has plus two capacity. So whatever enclosures I attach to this area, um, it's going to be able to have plus two capacity, which I think is really cool. Um, I think it would be really fun to try out. And there's also the commercial harbor, which the commercial harbor is all the way down here in this corner. And this is that um, once you have something connected to it, um, once during your turn, you may discard one hand card for three um, points or three credits at any time. I think I'm going towards outdoor areas. I think that might be what I go for. Um, I've also played many times on VGA. Always need a few more turns. I know, right? It's so hard. It's so hard. It, it just, it ends way too quickly. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like I need a few more turns, please. 
Um, amazing, Carcassonne Zoo Edition. <laughs> Love this one. <laughs> Hello, get into games. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is like exactly the same as Carcassonne, plays pretty similarly, so. <laughs> it's a little indoor, uh, indoor joke. Not indoor joke, oh my goodness. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> I was reading the outdoor, uh, people voting for the outdoor map. <laughs> Get into games, we have a little bit of a, an indoor, indoor joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking outdoor. For sure. Glad you guys agree with me. All right. So that's what we're going to go for. I have all of my cards set up here. Um, these I still need to shuffle a little bit more. I'm going to pile those up for a second. Um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, Janica, I think is how you pronounce it. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. I did do a sponsor strategy last night in a two player and the last score was very, very close. Ooh, nice. Outdoor map, outdoor uh, area seems fun, outdoor areas. Okay. It is indoor. She keeps me trapped in the garage and feeds me these scraps to send help. Yep. He's never getting away. Okay, so I'm going to choose three of these and I'm pretty sure I do it like <clears throat> excuse me I do it like a two-player game where are these the things that I yeah we're doing three of these so we have species diversity we have Europe icons and Africa icons. Ooh, interesting. Okay. And then, um, do I just want to use, where did I put the red? I'll just use the red cubes. Hello, Ameritrash Talk. Hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you? How's it going? I saw your name on Tim Chuin's video yesterday. Asking a few questions for his Q&A. Okay, so then the five is blocked off. The four is blocked off. And the three is blocked off. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure you do that in a solo game. My thing is, is I played a lot on BGA, so um, the computer does it all for you. Pretty sure you just play it like a two-player game. Do not place any tokens on a on a different color of a different color on them. Like a three-player setup. Just kidding. We don't do that. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's nice to know. I guess I never really paid attention to that. Okay, so. I do get starter worker. Now that we've decided, I'm gonna use the outdoor map. I can place all of my additional workers on here. I also do have to start here. And then place all my cubes. Cuby cubies. All right, and these can just go off to the side for now. I'll put them over here. All right, and then we need to choose or get two of these. These are my end game objectives, which once I get to here, I do have to discard one. How's everyone's Friday going so far? Any plans for the long weekend? I have a board game day tomorrow, and then I have 
honestly, another board game day the next day. <laughs> um, I'm going to a friend's house for board game day tomorrow with a bunch of fellow board gamers. And then on Sunday, I have a live stream on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming Oros solo, uh, which that reminds me, I do need to learn how to play Oros uh, solo. So that's something I need to do today. And then we are getting together with Francis's family and going out for dinner and having a, a board game night as well. So it's just gonna be a full week or full weekend of board games. Okay, so the two that I have here are the Naturalist Zoo. So this is, I'm gaining um, conservation for empty spaces in my zoo. So maybe I'll try to have like a pretty empty zoo or I have the climbing park, which is gain conservation for rock icons in your zoo. So those are two um, that I feel like I can probably try to go for both of them and then whichever one is looking better by the time I get to here, um, I should be good. The nice thing with the um, naturalist zoo is that all of the enclosures here can be smaller what, than like what they actually hold, if that makes sense. So like I could have a four enclosure or actually even a three enclosure that, I'm assuming capacity means like if an animal needs a five enclosure, I can put it into a three enclosure. Am I thinking that is correct or is that not what that means? I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Good, I took a day off trying to play Ark Nova 2. Nice, that is awesome, Emma. Um, leaving on a trip in two hours. Ooh, very nice. Are you going on just like a weekend trip somewhere? Are you going for a long trip? Let me know, James. Hi, Preston, welcome to the stream. How's it going? How are you? Okay. So many cards. I think I might see if I can find just a little explanation, there we go, of the outdoors area. Doing good, meeting my new boss, principal of our school today, then taking our son to the movies tomorrow. Aw, that is awesome. Well, good luck meeting your new boss. Tim, hello. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Best Friday ever? Frick yeah, man. <laughs> Frick yeah, man. How are you, Tim? I watched your, your Q&A yesterday. I'm good. Glad I... <clears throat> excuse me. Glad I looked uh, on here to catch your live stream. I love... Um, I think that's supposed to be your videos, UPS videos. I love UPS videos too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, the solo games are so much fun. I do agree. Um, thank you so much for joining Preston. Appreciate it. Okay. Just trying to shuffle this deck as much as I possibly can. You, your videos, not UPS videos. <laughs> I assumed, I assumed. I'm glad you like my videos though. Thank you so much. Yay, Ark Nova played solo three times this month. Only one once. Ugh. Chef Joe. How's it going? How's it going, Chef Joe? What well, you said works on uh, BGA, so I'd say that's correct. Okay. Thank you so much, Louisa. Oh, here comes the dogs. Here they come. Hi, babies. How's it going? I have a big pile of uh, garbage from unboxing a bunch of board games in the middle of my board game room and Walt is scared <laughs> of it. Buddy, it's okay, it's just a pile of garbage. It's, it's totally fine. You're gonna be fine, okay? 
Just don't eat any of it. Got it? Okay. So I get a one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just trying to like take from random spots. There we go. Um, it's good. I'm excited to play games this weekend. Do you have any plans for tomorrow slash Sunday? Well, Tim, you came just slightly too late to hear about all of my plans, but I will let you know now. Um, I was chatting about it a few minutes ago, but um, we are, or I am going to a board game day tomorrow with some board game friends. So I'm going to be playing board games all day tomorrow. Um, and then on Sunday, I am streaming Oros over on Twitch solo. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then Francis' family is coming over on Sunday after that in order to also play more board games and go out for dinner. So it's pretty much just gonna be an entire weekend of board games and I'm pumped about it. Um, but yes, what games are you guys uh, hoping to get played this weekend? Let me know. I think I'm going to be playing hopefully um, Millie Fiore, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm very excited to play that one. Um, oh, what else? Um, Cat is bringing something. We have a bunch of like plans in our Discord. What other games did we plan on playing? Millie Fiore, I might be able to play Biblios because I played Biblios Quill and Parchment the other day and Steph said that she would bring the original Biblios so that we could play that. Um, what did Kat say she was bringing? Steph also mentioned Marrakesh, but I don't know if we're going to play that this weekend. Um, I do remember Kat saying she's going to bring something. I'll remember it eventually, but it's going to be a good weekend. I'm very excited. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna put these out yet. I'm going to decide on my animals first, which I need to keep in mind. We have species diversity. We have Europe and Africa. So I am going to keep this one. This is a red deer. Um, that is a Europe icon. Ooh, we got this guy here, which is a Europe icon sponsorship, which I will definitely be keeping that. We have a bird and a monkey, another bird. I'm only keeping four of these, so I need to keep in mind what would be good. Uh, we got a weird looking fish thing. <laughs> I'm gonna discard that guy. Um, don't need that. The lion needs three other like, I don't know exactly, Europe maybe icon. So I don't want that one. This one, no. So I think I'm gonna keep these four. We got a red deer, we got expert on Europe, which is really nice to have. We have lesser bird of paradise, and then a monkey, which I need the partner zoo too, so. I'll get that eventually. But this will help with uh, the species diversity. So I'll have a bird and I'll also have a primate and then I will also have an herbivore. Okay, got it. Also, I got my coffee. Look at how beautiful this coffee is, dang. She knows how to make her coffee. <clears throat> Let me catch up on chat. Do, do, do. Um, last time I tried this solo, I looked up and my son had both score markers in his hands playing a war with them. <laughs> and I had no idea what numbers they were on. Um, I haven't tried again since. Oh no. <laughs> oh, children. <clears throat> okay, I'll place that over there. Um, I played Quill and Parchment, but not the original Biblios. How did you like Quill and Parchment? I really enjoyed it. 
Um, I do think it's one that would probably play better multiplayer because then you could experience the whole like bidding aspect of it in the second half. But yeah, I really liked it. It's a good just little light um, dice rolling, rolling right. It's a good one. Excited to see a solo play of this. I've only played it once solo. Well, I'm very excited to get into this. I do need actually to take off this. And I start with 25 monies. Okay. Um, yay, finally on a live. Hi, hello, Jessica Smith. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. I'm happy that you were able to join. Um, we're playing Lord of the Rings Magic. Ooh. And then hopefully some more Hickory Dickory. So super light. Very nice. I actually have been wanting to try Hickory Dickory. It looks very cute. Um, and like, oh, Walter Gregory. No, thank you. Um, the like clock hand thing looks a little bit gimmicky, but I feel like it would probably be fun. I felt the same way about Quillen Parchment. I've only played it at two. Um, better at higher player counts. Yeah, I really want to play it with a higher player count for sure. Sending love from South Africa. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Hopefully you're doing good over there. Thank you so much for, for hanging out. Uh, they got me with the cute meeples every time. I almost bought uh, Casting Shadows like six times for that. Um, axolotl meeple, oh my goodness. I, yeah, that would probably get me as well. All right, so I can now put out all of these. So we got some sponsors. We got a horse, a pony. None of these are really helping me thus far. Maybe the Northern Giraffe, um, cause that is from Africa. So maybe that we will see. But okay, we are going to get into this. Um, I do want to, I probably don't want to do this quite yet. Maybe I will hold off on doing the sponsor until I have a few of the blue icons, um, just so I can get a few appeal because right away when you play this sponsor card, you get one appeal per um, European icon that you have which i have none right now so it'd kind of be not great for me to play quite yet um so i think i'm going to try to get the red deer out before anything so i'm going to do an association action right off the bat um i'm going to use my worker and i am going to place here to grab a partner zoo, which I totally forgot to add all of the things to the partner or the uh, association board. Great start, Jenna, great start. We got yellow, orange, blue, red, and green okay and then i don't need the coffee cup because we don't use that all right back to what i was doing I'm using this and i'm going to right off the bat get a partner zoo with europe bam i'm going to move these down this gets moved and it's now our next turn. So basically in the solo game, if you've never seen the solo game played, this is kind of the, the round tracker or the countdown to the end of each round. So this is how many turns I have in the first round. I just did my first turn, so I moved this cube over. And then as I do my turns, I'm going to be moving these cubes over. Once I get to the bottom, that means that the break happens. I'm going to get some sort of income um, I'm going to have to discard down to my hand limit, which right now it's three, but eventually I will be able to get it up to um, five if I get this um, university here. 
Um, so there's a few things that happens and then one of the cubes gets taken and placed over here in the donation section on the association board. Um, so then the next round, I'm going to have one less turn. So every single round, you're going to always have one less turn. And then once we get all the way down to the bottom, the game ends and you win if you manage to get both of your markers to pass. Walter Gregory, stop barking at your sister. My dogs, my dogs, everyone. Um, okay, so that is my first turn and that is kind of how the game plays. I've been meaning to try to play the other um, solo variant. It is the Arno variant, which I think kind of um, makes it so you're playing against like an AI. Rather than trying to just get to a specific objective by the end of the game, you actually have some sort of AI that makes you feel like you're actually playing in a, against another player. I meant to play that sometime this month, but of course I did not have time. So hopefully in the near future, I will be able to finally play the Arno variant for Arc Nova. All right. We also do start at 20 appeal. You can make it slightly harder if you want on yourself and you can like start at 10 or you can start at zero um, if you get really good at it. But I have not gotten, I have not gotten that good at it, unfortunately. Um, also, I think my best score on BGA was like 30, 34, maybe. Um, <laughs> did you seriously just full name your dog? Eh, yes, I did. Um, his name is Walter Gregory when he's in trouble. When he's just a little bit in trouble, he is just Walter. And then when he's a, a good boy, his name is Walt or Mr. Man. Oh no, Walt, not the full name. <laughs> you in trouble, bud. <laughs> Arno is much better, feels uh, less impossible. That's good to know. Thank you, Jamie. Um, I would love to try it at some point. All right, so that was my first turn. I am now going to, I'm kind of like putting off doing the sponsor until I have a few of these icons. So I have one European icon so far. And I think I want to get the deer into play as well. Um, so I think oh well, that's not going to happen. I don't think may share the existing enclosure of a herbivore with three plus. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. So I'm going to use the building action and I'm going to build one building with a maximum size of four. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to build a two and I think I'm going to place it. Ooh, I need to get my, uh, my build card upgraded. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will just start off. Cause like not all of them need to be attached to this. Um, maybe I will just, no, cause if I do this, this needs a three, but if I have it attached to the outdoor area, then it would only need to be a two, but I don't want to do that quite yet. So I think I'm actually going to make a three and I think I will start it. Where do I want to start this? The nice thing about these maps is that you can kind of start from anywhere and then work out from there. So I think, do I want to start here? Mm, not really. Maybe I start up here. And then I would gain one card from here within university or knowledge or whatever this is, reputation range. Or I could do this and grab an X. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'm going to go here to cover up this X icon. Get myself an X. The X allow you to make your cards more like strong. Uh, 
I feel like he is Walter Gregory a lot, lol. Yes, he is Walter Gregory a lot when it comes to uh, things he does on stream. Because he's often doing something bad. Um, so, yes. Penny, were you not having it with your blanket basket there? Penny was trying to make her blanket basket comfortable and then she just left. Where, was it not getting comfortable enough for you? <laughs> All right. So I built this here. I covered up the X and then I need to pay six. So I will pay 20 and get 14 back. One, two, three, four. 10. Because whenever you build enclosures, you have to pay two per um, spot that it takes up. So this one takes up three spots, so it cost me six. And that is everything for my second turn. Push that over. Um, I am then going to do animals. So I'm going to take this. It's at the three, so I can play one animal. I'm going to play the red deer. I'm going to move this over. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so I'm just going to play the red deer. This is going to cost me 12. Actually, it's not going to cost me 12 because I have this. So it's actually going to cost me nine. So I'm going to pay 10, get one back. All right. And then flip this over. And then I get five appeal. So I'm going to go up to 25. And that is my third turn. Boom. All right. Now, now do I want to do my sponsor? I do think I want to. Um, because going forward, any of the European icons that I play, I get to automatically place a single um, spot enclosure somewhere. So I think I'll do that. It will get me two appeal, I believe. Or will it get me three? Because this one has a European icon, so that might count as one. I think it might count as one. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do sponsor card. Because it's in the five section, I can play this sponsor card because it does have a five on it there. So this is going to go over here. I actually don't know exactly how I want to do this. Let me move this over. This doesn't need to be that close to me. And probably move this actually let's leave it like that and i'll put my sponsor cards on the right side of my board all right so i use the sponsor move these over so then i will gain one appeal per european icon in my zoo so i have one two and three. I'm going to say that the one here counts because the sponsor card is now in my zoo. So I would consider that it being in my zoo. So one, two, three for that. All right. Now, now what do I want to do? Hmm. So I do have this one. Um, I do have this two here, which eventually I need to get the partnership zoo for this. Um, but there's not much that I can do with these right now. So I think I am going to do the card action, which also did I, did I slide one of these over? I did the association action. I've done the build action. I've done the animals action and I've done the sponsor, so I forgot to push one over. Always remember, always remember to push a cube over. Yep, just played cards are considered in your zoo. Perfect. 
perfect. Thank you so much, Jill. Zyphir, hello, welcome to the stream. My kid has wanted to play this game and she was just watching and as I explained it to her, she gave me wide eyes and ran away as expected. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. All right. So cards. Um, because it's at the five, I can either draw three and discard one or I can snap one from any of these, which I'm actually kind of tempted to snap this guy here, which he is from Africa. He is a primate, so maybe I just don't do this primate and I grab this primate um, because this one has a mountain icon. So that would be really nice to possibly go towards the climbing park. Um, so maybe I do that. Maybe I do that. Also, Anthony, what is the no? What's the no for? Let me know what that was in regards to. Because I don't want to do something wrong. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to do that. Instead of drawing and discarding one, I'm just going to snap and I'm going to grab this primate here, which he's actually, I guess lemurs are primates, but he's not a monkey, he's a lemur. And he's very cute. Look at this cute guy. Adorable. Okay, so, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this one to the back because I know I'm not gonna play that one anymore, most likely. So then this moves up, this moves up, this moves up, and this moves up. Unfortunately, I can't do the association action anymore because I don't have any more workers, which kind of sucks, um, but also I forgot to move that up for this the card action. So I've done one of each action so far. Um, I have two more actions this round, so maybe do I wanna try would I be able to do this one? No, because I don't have enough money. Because I would need to pay at least four to gain or put in the enclosure, and then I would need to pay another 12. So I would need to have 16, which I only have 10 credits. So, do I maybe just want to build? I could just build, get prepared for the next round. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to do that, but it would be really nice to be able to play one of these cards, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Also, this gets pushed down. Zaboomafu! Yeah, he kind of does look like Zaboomafu. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to do the build action. Uh, this was on the four, so I could build up to a four enclosure, but I don't think I want to do that. I do want at least a two enclosure because I could attach it to this outdoor area and this lemur would only need a two instead of a three. But at the same time, I don't think that's going to work because he needs to be attached to a rock. So that is unfortunate. So I think I am going to build another three. I'm going to build another three and I'm going to place it here, like so. That's going to cover up a um, take one from reputation range, which I'm literally only on the first one, so that's fine. But I do have to pay six. 
place that there. I'm just gonna take the only one that I can take like that. And then these all get moved down. Hello, Matt. Hello, Seth. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, guys. How's it going? How's your Friday? Happy freaking Friday. Okay, so I think that's everything there. We're gonna move these down, move this down. Okay. So I am going to have to discard down to three at the end of this round. But it would kind of be nice to get a few cards. So I think I'm gonna do cards. It's only at three, but I could spend this X to make it a four and I could draw two cards. I think I'm gonna do that just to give myself some options um, for what to discard at the end of this round, which also I forgot to slide that over yet again. That was for the build action and then I am gonna slide for the card action, which I'm going to pick up two from here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hello, Joe. Welcome to the stream. Hello, peoples. Hello, hello. When taking from reputation range, you can also draw from the deck instead. This is not true uh, for snapping. Okay, that's good to know. I actually don't think I realized that. Um, so that's nice to know. When you're taking from reputation range, you don't actually have to take there. You could take from here. Good to know, thank you so much. I'm not used to being off work in the day and getting to watch things live. Well, Joe, thank you so much for deciding to spend some of your free time on this lovely Friday here at the board game garden. Appreciate it. Not bad, just bought a charcoal grill. Ooh, very nice. Actually, Francis and I, hopefully this weekend we'll be getting a barbecue as well. My sister is moving out of her house and she is getting rid of her very nice barbecue, which I think that she got originally like free from her aunt. So I'm just, I'm getting the grill now. It's moving from family member to family member. Um, and Francis and I have never had a barbecue, so I'm freaking stoked. I want to barbecue some meat, let me tell you. Francis only eats fish and chicken. He's a paleo pescatarian, which I was for a few years as well, but I stopped about a year ago so i eat a little bit of beef and pork um not like a ton i try to avoid it for the most part but sometimes um, i like to have a good steak and i am stoked to grill my own steak on that barbecue you have no idea all right so the two cards that i picked up was or were the science library as well as the australian sea lion which is very cute and this would be nice to have to get the carnivore icon for the species diversity. Um, we will see what I end up discarding, but I have a lot of options for what to discard, so we will see. Um, but that was everything for that turn, and that is everything for that round. So, because all of the cubes have been pushed over now, we go into this, which, um, what happens first? So I'm going to be taking the top cube here and it's going to come over here and cross off or um, go over the first in the donation. All the cubes get pushed back over. So now we have one less action on this next round. Um, next, I do need to... Oh yeah, and then the rest of it is just here, okay. Um, and then I do need to discard down to three cards. So I'm definitely keeping the lemur. I think actually I might keep the sea lion as well as the lesser bird of paradise. I don't need this one because I'm already going to have a monkey or a primate, sorry. This is releasing a bird into the wild, which I don't think I'm wanting to do. And then this one is a sponsor card, which is all about the science icons, which I am not 
going for right now. So these are the cards that I am discarding over to here. And these three cards are with which are these three cards are what I am keeping. Here we go. English. English, everyone. We got a bird, we got a carnivore, we got a primate, all going towards this um, species diversity. And then I also do have one of the Africa icon. So that is good. Okay. So moving on, this three here is for this lemur. Um, I do want a four attached to water. So I could actually put a three here and it'd be attached to water and to the outdoor area. So it doesn't have to be a four, it could just be a three. But the sea lion does need a partner zoo with Australia. So actually, before we get into the next round, I do need to do the rest of this. So we need to take back my worker. We need to replenish this with one blue. Okay. And then I also need to discard these two cards, which is not great because I would have loved to have this Northern Giraffe, but that's okay. We'll find some more Africa icons somewhere. All right, those get discarded and then I gain my income. So. I don't have any of the souvenir shops, but I do gain 19 here. And that is it. I just get 19. Okay, so I'll just grab a 20 and put one back. And we are good to move on to the next round. Um, do, do, do. I'm at lunch at work. Never had interest in Arc Nova. I'm here for my Jenna. Aw, thank you, Seth. Everyone needs a good Jenna fix. <laughs> I've only, uh, it's only June slash July, so it's still winter in Canada, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's always winter in Canada, which like, not gonna lie, it seems like it is. It feels like it is sometimes, but <laughs> hope the air quality is better in canada illinois has been brutal oh i'm so sorry seth yeah it's been not great here like it's not it's definitely not as bad as some places um it's just a little bit smoky and then it has a little bit of like a campfire smell in the air we try to not like let the dogs out for a long period of time um but yeah it's not absolutely horrible what's the first thing you're grilling matt yeah, let us know, Matt. Probably burgers. Ooh, just need to make some burger buns. Dang, you're going to make your own burger buns? That is, that is talent. Every time I hear you say Africa, I keep thinking of that Toto song. What is this Toto song? I do not know. Okay, so... I need to get to a point where I can upgrade some of these cards of mine. Do I want to just take my association action right away? If I take the association action and get another partner zoo, I would be able to upgrade one of these. I don't really know which card I'd want to upgrade. Maybe the build card would be my best option at this point. <clears throat> so that I can build on these spaces here. Maybe. But then also it'd be really nice to get to this point or even just get one university because <clears throat> my hand limit would be five. I'm losing my voice constantly. What is wrong with me? Oh, the I bless the rain down in Africa. Yep, I know that song. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. 
We have had a lot of smoke, haze, and unhealthy air past few days, yeah. Like, the air, I think they say on the Weather Network, like, here in my town, like, the air is not great, so, like, try to avoid going outside, which we have for the most part. Hello, Jeremiah. Thank you so much for, for letting me know what that song was. Toto is a rock band, had a song about Africa. Yes, I remember that now. Here in Kentucky, the air quality isn't good, but it's nowhere near as bad as other places in the Midwest and the East Coast. Yeah, for sure. I can't, I can't complain because I know that a lot of other places have it really bad and it's not fun, so. <laughs> okay, so what do we want to do here? Do I want to do an association action? I think I do. So I'm going to do association action. I am going to do partner zoo again. I'm going to grab Australia because I do need Australia for both of these cards. This one specifically, I do need the partner zoo. So I am going to place that there. This is covering up an upgrade card icon. So I am going to upgrade the build card. All of these are going to get moved up like so. And that is that. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now to what I want to do. That was my first action. Second action, I think I'm going to build. If I build, am I able to get two of these animals? into enclosures. If I build this one, it's just a one, but this will cost me 15 and this will cost me 12. 15 plus 12 is 27. I do not have 27. I only have 23. So crap. That kind of sucks. Ugh. Maybe I just do the animal. I do this guy here. Actually, you know what I might do? Maybe I will do that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do build. So that's up to three. So I already have for this. I could build the three for this guy here so that it's ready. Yeah, I think I might do that. I'm gonna do the three. Do I do it here maybe? Oh shoot, I can't. I have to have it attached to something adjacent. Well, frick man. That kind of sucks. Because then I'm going to have to put it here. Which I guess is fine. Um, I just won't cover up anything. Yeah, I'll do it there. I'll pay six. So I get 14 back again. One, two, three, four. Have that there so that's going to be my for my australian sea lion which he's actually going to be three less so that would be oh you know what no that's fine i don't think i'll be able to do it still that'd be 15 and 12. 15 plus 12 is 27. i don't think i would have had 27 anyways okay so that is everything for that turn. Move that down, move these down. All right, let me catch up on chat. Um, I'm in South Africa, it's winter. I do not bless the rains currently, oh no. Jessica, I'm so sorry. 
here in New York, we're back in the bad air category. Oh no, that's not fun, James. They send my area some, or hey, send my area some rain, please. The grass everywhere is, is crunchy. Oh my goodness, I thought you said <laughs> the grass was crunchy, or no, chunky. I think that's what I read. And I'm like, how is grass chunky? You can instead blame the rain on South Africa. <laughs> when you say crunchy, I think of when Jenna says crunchy. Yep. And I think chunky for some unknown reason. Um, but love a good crunchy grass, you know. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways. Um... If I do, no, I don't want to do that one yet. I think I'm going to do, both of these have sunbathing, which I want to really take advantage of this because basically when you do sunbathing, you can sell up to three cards from your hand for four credits each. So I would really love to have some cards in my hand that I want to actually sell. Um, right now, I don't because I want all three of these. So, I think I am going to, before I do animals, if I do this, I would gain four money, which I don't really think would really help me much. I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 credits, I would have 21 which wouldn't get me anywhere, really. But it would allow me to get this up here. Okay, I'll maybe I'll do that. So I'll do sponsorship. I'm gonna gain four money. So I'll just grab a five, put one back, push those forward, push a cube. And then I'm gonna do the card action. So because it's at four, I get to draw two cards. One and two. Okay. Dang it, I kind of want to keep this one. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Maybe I do those? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So that that push this over hmm <laughs> so I definitely want this one this is a reptile and it's from Europe so I would love to keep this one because that would help with my species diversity it also would help with my Europe icons so I'm gonna keep that one this one I've already set up for this one I've already set up for so I think I think I might actually sell these two uh, when I do either of these two. So I think I'm going to do animals. It is at five, so I could do two animals, but I don't have the correct enclosures or enough money. So that's unfortunate. I think I'm going to do the Australian sea lion. So because I have the partner zoo, I'm good. And I also get three off. So I'm going to have to pay 15 to do the Australian sea lion. It does need a four enclosure, but oh my goodness, I could have done a two enclosure. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why didn't I do a two enclosure? Because it's plus two capacity. Damn it. Frick, man. You know what? Screw it. It's a solo game. This can actually be a two enclosure. <laughs> it wouldn't change anything. I would just get two monies back. I always thought it was just one. Everyone shh. Everyone shh. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. That's what I meant to do. Shh. Shh. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. I'm going to do the Australian Sea Lion. I'm going to pay 15. I think I'll just do 10. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five. And then this gets added. This gets turned over. Like so. And then I gain seven appeal. So I'm at 28 plus seven, 35. And then I also gain one, whatever that's called, um, conservation. And you may sell up to three cards from your hand for four credits each. So I'm gonna sell these two here for four credits each. So actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna sell one. I'm gonna sell this one here, which is the archeologist. And I will gain four credits. So I'll just do a five and discard one. I think that's probably my best option. Okay, slide this over. I, I am not getting a lot of workers. How am I gonna get, I need to get another conservation. So somehow we'll need to figure out how to get another conservation. Um, maybe, once I do this, maybe I will do the Europe conservation card. We will see. But I have one more action. I think I might build some buildings, to be honest. Just build some ones. That might be my best option. So I'm going to do build. And I can build one or more different buildings with a maximum total size of X. Shoot. So actually, I can only build one of these two because I can't build two singles, unfortunately. You can do different buildings. Hmm. Dang it. So I guess the... European grass snake is a little bit more important than the bird right now. So I guess I will build a one enclosure. And this knit needs to be next to water. So I'm going to build it up here in this corner for two. And then I don't know if I want to build anything else as of right now. Cause like I don't really know what I will need. So is it really that smart to do that? I could do a, whatever they're called, a souvenir shop just so I can get some more income. <clears throat> so maybe I'll build that there for two. So I will pay five and get three back. Yeah. I think I'm good with that. I could build another two, but I don't really want to. So I'm going to place that there. And then that is my last action for that round. Also, apologies. I need to again catch up on chat hello board game garden best of star trek hello welcome to the stream how are you chunky <laughs> that'll be matt after too many good burgers <laughs> off his new grill <laughs> grabbing some mcdonald's on my lunch break oh dude i had mcdonald's on my way home from a board game night on wednesday it was great i had some fries and a cheeseburger and one of their hot fudge sundaes so good, so good. A reptile from Europe? I would guess, oh my goodness, what is that word? Silvio Berl, Berl, Berlusconi. But he just passed, so it's in poor taste. Oh my goodness. Uh, didn't see nothing. 
What was that? Oh, didn't see nothing. Oh, yeah, 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 because I cheated. Yeah, you guys didn't see anything. You didn't, you didn't see anything. Still waiting on my Castles of Burgundy special edition shipping notification. So pumped for it to arrive. I am so excited for you guys to get your Castles of Burgundy. I actually am uploading a video today of me organizing my Castles of Burgundy special edition. So get excited for that. It's either going to be uploaded later today or tomorrow morning. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I'm very excited. And I think I actually might be bringing that to the board game night tomorrow that I'm going to, or the board game day that I'm going to. So hopefully I'll be able to play my Castles of Burgundy special edition tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Okay. Um, so that is everything for that round. Um, we take one of these cubes, place it over here. All of these get pushed back. I am not doing the most greatest right now, but we'll get there. <laughs> and then um, I discard down to three. I only have three cards, so I'm good. And then I'm going to put a red here. And then what else do I need to do? Discard these two cards. Push these down. Two new ones come out. Got a few sponsor cards. And then I gain my income. So I'm going to get 21, 22, 23. 20, and I'm going to discard two and grab a five. There we go, I have 31, which actually I might be able to get two of these animals placed into here this round. Maybe even three, we will see. All right, so that is everything there. We are down to five actions on this round. Good Lord help me, I'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. All right, so I do also get my one worker back, which I would love to get some more workers eventually. Um, I would also love to get up the reputation track eventually as well. Okay, so first action, do I want to do association or do I want to wait until I put this one down so then I can use that association action to do the year up? conservation project. Oh, you know what I also forgot to do? Oopsie. I forgot to add these things. We're just gonna add some random ones. There we go. My bad. Apologies. All right, um, so it'd be really nice to get one more conservation because I would be able to get another worker or something. Um, if I did the Europe, I would be able to go one, two, three, four. So I'd be able to get something from here and something from here. Um, I think that's probably my best option. I could just do animal right away and just do one. Maybe I will do that. So I'm gonna do animals. Because it's at the two, I can only do one animal. So I'm going to do the European grass snake. Um, this does cost me three less. So this is going to only cost me five. And the snake is gonna go up in this top corner here. I'm gonna place it here. Um, after finishing the current action, you may place any action card on one. So this would go here, and I think I'm going to put the sponsor action down to one. Okay, so I now have one, two, three, 
four European icons. So I think I'm going to do this next um, for that. And that is my first action. Second action, I'm going to do association. Like I said, I'm going to go to conservation project. I'm going to take, ooh, snap. What do I want to do here? I think I want to grab the next worker. I think that's my best option here. I'm going to place this here. That means I'm going to gain my worker, which actually I get the bottom one automatically for that. And then I gain four conservation. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Um, I'm obviously going to gain the 10. So I'm going to grab 10 credits. And then from here, I'm going to upgrade one of my cards. And I think I'm going to upgrade my association task card. So those all move up. That goes there. And I also do gain three appeal. One, two, three. Okay. That was a decent turn. A decent turn there. And now I do have two of my workers, which is awesome. All right. So that was my second action. I did my association action. Do I want to grab some cards? I think I do. So I'm going to grab some cards. Because it's at the five, I can either snap one or I can draw three and discard one. Which I think I'm going to do that. There's nothing here that I really want. Hi, you two. One, two, and three. All right, so we have Primate Breeding Program. So actually, I am eventually going to get this primate here. So I think I might take that. And this one here is each time you gain a continent or animal category icon that is not yet in your zoo, gain one appeal and two credits. And then also for each different continent or animal category icon in your zoo, you gain two credits. I think I'll keep that one. And then this one's a bird one, which I don't have any birds as of yet and probably don't plan on getting any more. So those are the two that I'm keeping. All right, move this down, all these down. So that was my third action. Do I have enough to play both of these? I would need to make another single building. So that would be two. I have 36, this would be 12 and 12, so I'd have 24, or I'd need 24 to play both of these, plus another two, so I'd need 26, plus I could probably add a few more buildings in there, so I do have enough. Okay, so I'm going to do build first. I can build one or more different buildings, <clears throat> so I'm focusing on this one here which I just need a single enclosure. Single enclosure, and I think I'm just going to place it here. This covers up this icon, which means that I can move any of my cards to the one. Um, do I wanna move any of my cards to one? So eventually this is gonna move up, 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 and this is gonna move up. Um, I think I'm gonna not do that. I'm not gonna take this action, which is moving any of your cards to the one. I'm just gonna leave it because I like where my cards are here. Aside from the sponsor card, 
Like I would have loved to eventually play this one, which is the Explorer. If you guys saw that. I would love to eventually play that, but I don't have my sponsor cart upgraded yet. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to upgrade it. So maybe I do do that. Maybe I do move my sponsor card to, to one. Okay. So that was two. My It was my build card and it was at, was my build card at five? I believe it was. I probably shouldn't have done that until I was finished building my buildings, but I did a two. Um, maybe I will do maybe a two. I'll do a two here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'll just do those. So I'd just pay six. All right. So that is everything for that turn. And then lastly, I'm going to, oh, also, you know what? I totally didn't do this when I, I did the European grass snake. So whenever each time you have a European icon put into your zoo, you can build a one space enclosure for free. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. And I guess I'll just place it here. There you go. Okay, um, so I'm gonna do the animals for my last action because I do have enough to do both of these which this is going to be 12, and this is also going to be 12, so that's going to be 24. So I have 30. I'm gonna get six back, boom, boom. So this guy here is gonna go into this enclosure. Just gonna flip that one over. And then this guy here is going to go into this enclosure here just so I can uh, completely surround this souvenir shop. And then I do have some other enclosures there that I can fill eventually. All right, so this one here is a bird. And this one allows me to place one free kiosk or one free pavilion. Ooh, I think I'm gonna place a kiosk and I think I'm going to place it here. And then hopefully eventually I can get these two flipped over and then this will allow me to get some. Actually, can't place it there. Could place it here though. Is that a good option? I have no idea. I just do know that there has to be, oh shoot, that, that's too close actually. Kidding, I'll just place it up here. I'm not gonna get any income for it this round, but hopefully I'll be able to get some next round. Um, so I'll place that there for that special ability. And then I do get five, one, two, three, four, five appeal for that. And then I also do have the lemur, which, Um, he allows me, or they allow me, to sell three cards from my hand for a certain amount for each. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't want to sell either of these, to be honest with you. So I'm going to keep these in my hand, and I'm just going to gain six appeal. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm definitely doing better with my appeal than anything else. Um, okay, so that is that I paid my money put them into the enclosures we're good how many different animals do I have right now one two three four five pretty freaking perfect I could on my next turn uh, do the species diversity so that's good because I have five of them I think I'm 
doing decent. I think I'm doing okay, y'all. I think I'm doing okay. Um, so that is everything for placing those animals into my zoo. That's gonna go there. That was my last action for that round. And it is now break time. Okay, so I need to discard down to three. I only have two. Um, the cube gets added here. All right. And then I need to do this, which I didn't take anything from there. We're going to discard these two cards. Push these down. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Look at these bunnies. They're so cute. But this guy though, he's looking a little aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So there are a lot of sponsor cards out here on display. Um, I do also actually get back my worker and I get my income. So I get 25, 26, 27, 28. So I'll get 25, 26, 27, 28. One, two, three. 25 okay so that is everything for the break i'm gonna move my cubes back we now have four actions for this round right off the bat i am going to do the association action i'm going to do a conservation project and i'm going to place one of my cubes onto the species diversity. I'm going to take off of this here. So I'm going to gain another um, conservation. So I'm going to gain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I do need to take one of these. Do I want a partner zoo or do I want a university? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what do I want? Um, Partner Zoo would get me another worker, which would be nice. At the same time, a university would get me one step closer to another card being flipped. I would also probably gain this one, which would give me a five card hand limit. Um, I think I'm gonna do university. So I'm gonna grab a university. I'm gonna grab this one, put this here. This would get me a five card hand limit. And then I also get to go up once on the reputation track. There we go. The only thing is I'm, I'm gonna need to do another university eventually. Um, but that's fine. And then I will also decide to do this here. So I'm going to place a cube on this one. I'm going to spend seven credits. And then I gain one more conservation. And then also because I went past this here, I do have to discard one of these which right off the bat i think i'm going to discard the climbing park because i only have one so so far i'm only going to get one conservation for that unless i can get more animals that need mountains i don't think that one's working out for me this one here is empty spaces in my zoo which I have quite a bit. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22, 23, 24, 25. I have a lot. Um, I at least need 24 in order to get four conservation. So I think I'm going to do that one. We're going to do a naturalist zoo. We're going to discard the climbing park. All right. Um, bunnies are so cute, but not red panda cute. Very true, Seth. Freaking love red pandas. 
Um, I actually just saw a video today of a red panda laying on a block of ice and it was the cutest thing. He was living his life. This is my first live. Please shout me out. Harper E. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. How are you? How's it going? I'm glad you're able to join a live. Okay. So association goes down there. Move my cube over. Um, all right. All right. All right. What is my next move here? We've already placed here. We've already placed here. Could go for Africa, but I don't have any Africa icons. There's no Africa icons here. So in order to get more Africa icons, my best option would be to do cards. I would be able to draw three and discard one or snap, which snapping would not help me because there's no Africa icons here. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna do that just because I would love to eventually get to the point where I can play this conservation project, um, which is just having a primate with a zoo, a matching zoo. Oh, you know what? I can't even do this until I have Africa as a partner zoo. Okay, well, I guess that is my hope right now. So I'm gonna do cards. I'm gonna draw three, discard one. One, two, oh, snap, look at that. Okay, um, so we have another snake from Europe. Apparently they have a lot of snakes in Europe. Is there anybody in chat from Europe? Can you uh, tell us if that is true? Um, I do think I'm gonna discard the snake because it's Europe and both of these are uh, Africa. So that's great. Look at that. Look at us go. Okay, so that's that. Don't know what to do now. think so this here I would need a lot of money for this I'm not gonna lie um, this would need to be I could I could actually put this one into this one here and then maybe I build a single here so that I can put this one into the single because it needs a three but because it would be by the open or outdoor area, it would only need to be a one. Um, so I could do a single. That would cost me two monies. I'm definitely not going to have enough to do both of them. So maybe I just do animal right away. I do this guy here. After finishing the current action, you may perform the cards action. Oh, interesting. This one would be that I may sell up to three cards from my hand. Um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think I will do this one because I already have the enclosure for this one, which is nice. And he gets me eight appeal, which is good. Okay, so I'm gonna do animal for my next action. I am going to play the colored mangabe, mangabe, mangabe. It needs one other animal from Africa, which we do have, which is the lemur. And it needs to be in an enclosure of four, which because this one is attached to the outdoor area, it can be two less, so I'm gonna do it two, like so. And he's gonna cost me 20, so I'm gonna take the 20. And then he is going to get me eight appeals, so that is going to be 57. 
I really need to get my, uh, whatever it's called up, my conservation up. Um, I think that's what my like focus is going to be for the next few rounds. Okay. So then these move up. And then after finishing the current action, you may perform the cards action. So because the cards action is here, do I actually move the cards action to one and perform it? So I would just pick up one card. I think that's what you do. I think you're supposed to move it. I could be wrong though. Please let me know. Okay. So I just picked up one card and that was my second action. All right. And then this is at the perfect spot that I could do another association action. Saw lemurs at a zoo the other day. They are the epitome of chilled. Love them. Oh, that's so cute. I love that you went to a zoo. I really want to go to uh, the Toronto Zoo eventually. Okay, so I do think I'm going to do the association action. So it's at three. So I can take this, place it on the three. I'm going to take this. It's going to go here. That's going to get me my third worker. And then I'm going to move this, move this, place this here. I am also going to pay seven. And that's going to allow me to place here and get one conservation for a donation. And that's going to be that action. And then I have one more action to perform. Oh, this is not good because I don't have any money. I'm out of money. I'm out of monies, y'all. So I can't build. I could do the sponsor action. Can't do the animal action. Could do the card action again. Um, that would just get me another card into my hand, which actually wouldn't be too bad because this animal here, which is the African spurred tortoise, um, this one allows me to sell up to three cards for four money each. So that would just allow me to get another card into my hand that I could possibly sell. And because my hand limit is five, I could afford to have one more card in my hand. Um, or I just do the sponsorship action and gain four money. I think I'm going to do the card action. And I'm just going to pick up one card. Whoa, okay. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one, but this would get me another Africa icon. It would just need three primate icons, which I only have uh, two at the moment. So I would need to get another primate icon somewhere, which I don't think would work. So that one might be one that I can just discard. All right. So that was my last turn for that round. I am going to take this cube place it on here. These three are going to move back. Discard down to five, which I have five cards. I am then going to replenish this, which we need a five university and a Africa partnership zoo. Okay, I'm going to take back my workers. Whoop. All right. And then what else happens? Replenish, discard these two, move these down. We're getting close to the end people and I don't know if I'm going to win. I've gotten pretty lucky with some of my card pulls and like getting the things that I needed for these conservation um, cards. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, so I'm also going to get some income 
which I get 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, which is decent. Not the most amazing. But that 31. I also do want to keep in mind that gain one one conservation for five occupied one space enclosures so i currently have two occupied i have one unoccupied and then i would need to get another two i don't know if that's going to happen but we can try um all right so that is everything we're moving on to i believe the second to last possibly third to last we will see um, I forget when you do or like stop this. I think I have this round that I have three turns and then the next round I have two turns and then that is it. All right. Um, so I've build sponsors, associations all the way down here. I'd love to get association up to the top. So I think I'll do the build action. I'm gonna build a single enclosure here for two. And then I will do a two enclosure here for another four. Okay. So that's six. Do I want to do any more? I don't think so. So I'm going to pay six. Oops. Ten. Get four back. Okay. I don't know if I covered up anything. I did. I get an X token, which is great. Move these guys up. All right. Um, I don't, I can't do the sponsorship action as of yet, but that's on number five. Honestly, like at this point, Point. I don't know if this would be worth it or not. It would get me a lot of money. But like the ongoing ability that it gives you, I'm not going to get a ton from because I already have a lot of cards. So maybe it's not the best idea to play that sponsorship anymore, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I just don't think I have enough time. So... I think I'll just play the animal action. Uh, and I'm gonna play the African Spurred Tortoise, which is going to cost me 22 minus three, so 19. I'm gonna pay 20 and get one back. And then he is going to live here. Oh, maybe, can he actually live in the single? Yes, he can, okay. So he's actually gonna live in the single here, just so I can occupy another single. Like that. Um, and then he is going to allow me to sell up to three cards from my hand for four each. So I'm actually going to sell all three of these for four each, so I would get 12. Twelve monies. Discard all three of those. Hi, board to play. What is up? Welcome to the stream. Arc Nova is is going. It's going. I don't know if you can see, but my appeal is here, and my conservation's here. My conservation is just about to go up quite a bit, so that should be good. Um, so I did that. I'm gaining one conservation and six appeal. One, two, three four, five, six. 
How's it going, board to play? How's your day going? All right. So that is everything. Um, I do have, I have four. I have four African icons. I have one, two, three, and four. So I could get the three conservation for here. And then I could try to, by the end of the game, do this, which I would gain two conservation for. So that would be three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we will see how this works out. I don't know how it's going to work out quite yet. This would get me two, one, two. We'll see. I have a little bit of time left to do a few things. I don't really want to waste an association action to get another university, but it would be nice to go up on the university track or like the reputation track. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. Is there any, I don't really have any other means of getting Africa icons as of right now, unless I took the card action right now, but I think I'm just going to do the association action. I'm going to spend my X token to make it a five. That way I can grab this and then go and go here. And I think I'm going to do this one first, um, which I think I can move these down a little bit just so I can put it on top. Move this down. I'm going to place this here and I'm going to put, ooh, that's actually very helpful. So I'm going to take this cube off of here, place it here. This one is that I get three X tokens, which is pretty freaking good. That's going to help me be able to get the association action up to five a lot quicker so that I can do this one sooner. So I got three X tokens and then I also do gain two conservation, one, two, and two, one, two, reputation. This is going to move up. There we go. I have no cards in my hand now, so I think I'm going to do the card action most likely. Um, oh shoot. So that was my first action, right? Or did I do the animal action first? I think I might have already done the animal action. I did the animal action and I did the association action. I think I forgot to move over my cubes. Good, good. Just woke up from, um, woke up from a night shift. Aw, that's no fun. Ready for the long weekend though? Yes. Hopefully you enjoy your long weekend board to play. Um, are you playing some games this weekend? Are you have any plans of board game days, board game nights? Let me know. All right, so. See, I do think I did the buildings for my last action before the break from before. So I do think I've only done two so far because I remember having, maybe not. Shoot, I think I might have already done all three of my actions for this round. Hopefully that is correct, because I might have just screwed myself over. Um, but I'm pretty sure I did the build action, the animal action, and the association action. And I just forgot to move the cubes over. Um, because I built this one and this one for six. And I think I remember sitting there and being like, I wish I could do the build action, but I have no money. I think. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, so that is going to be everything for this round. I have no cards in my hand, so I don't even have to um, discard down or anything. So here, um, this is going to go to here, which actually, you know what I'm going to do? 
um, before this, I placed this here for my conservation, or not, for my in association action. Good Lord, Jenna. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pay 10 to do a donate before I finish off my turn, just so I can get one more conservation um, for that. So this moves up one. And then the AI is gonna cover up the 12 there. Okay, so that is that. These two move back. I am gonna have one more round where I can do two turns, and then that is going to be everything. So, oh boy. So discard down to three or five. I don't have anything. We are going to replenish this. Doesn't need to be replenished. We're gonna discard these two cards. Move these down. All right, and then I get my income. So I'm gonna gain 28, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 monies, which let me quickly count these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I don't have as many going on here. So I have 41, which is kind of good. Um, all right. I literally have two left. I honestly don't think there's gonna be much that I can do. Hmm, shoot. Because even if I get some cards, I'm not going to be able to play the animal because I want to get my association action up. So honestly, I guess I can just... Wow, I just realized that I did not upgrade a lot of my cards. Why didn't I upgrade a lot of my cards? I don't know. Tomorrow will be some party games and likely with some, most likely with some nons. What's nons? I might be reading that wrong, but, um, but hoping to get some, oh, nons is in like non board gamers. Maybe that's what that means. <laughs> but hoping to get some games in a Saturday and Monday. It's been too long. I hopefully, or hopefully you can get some games played, board to play. It's Friday and I feel like everyone is just coasting in the office waiting to leave. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, officially, I'm tempted to leave early, or obviously I'm tempted to leave early. Um, grab a beer, go home, and see if the wife will game with me. Orleans maybe? Ooh. I really want to play Orleans, Seth. Jealous. Off to 11 days in the Adirondacks. Oh paddling, hiking, etc. Uh, we'll be close to Canada. Hope to game. Uh, hope the game ends and have fun gaming this weekend. Thank you so much, James. Have a good rest of your weekend. Have a good trip in the Adirondacks. Um, hopefully you have a wonderful trip and hopefully you can get maybe some games played. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining the stream. I appreciate you. Non-gamers, yes. That's what I, I figured at the end there. Okay, so... I guess the only thing that I can do, hmm, I don't even know. Like there's literally nothing that I can do that's really gonna help me. I guess I just do my sponsor card and get five, five coins. All these are gonna get moved up. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my association action. Excuse me, it's at two, but I'm gonna go three, four, and five. Also, this was supposed to come back during the break. So I used all three of my X tokens to make the association, association action of five. I'm gonna place it here. I'm going to take 
I guess the 12 monies one and I'm going to place it here because I have one, two, three, four Africa icons. So I'm going to gain three conservation. One, two, three. Um, okay. And then, because I took this from here, I get 12 monies. And then right away, I'm going to spend these 12 monies. And I'm going to put a cube here and do a donation. And I'm going to go there. Boom. All right. So that is that. I have a lot of freaking money, which I didn't end up getting to use, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. Um, so that is everything for that. We are finito burrito. And we're just going to do a few last minute um, end game scoring things. So the only thing actually is that I just have to do this here. So this is gain conservation for empty building spaces in your zoo. So I do believe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I could be wrong. Let me quickly make sure I counted that correctly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I literally just got this one here. So I got four conservation for that, which is one, two, three, four, which freaking saved my butt. Let me just tell you, holy crap. So I did successfully win my thing is, I don't know how to calculate the end score for this. So, what did I get here? 63, and then like 51. So 63 minus 51 is 12. Did I get an end score of 12? Maybe? Hello, Vortac. You made it just in time to uh, hear what my end score is, which honestly was not the best. Um, I still don't really understand how to calculate like on BGA. Let me know, what do you guys, is it just like anything over 100? So like I would do 15 plus 63. Does that maybe how that works? or not 15, 51 plus 63. So I would gain a score of 14. Is that how that works? I'm not 100% sure, but all I know is that I did successfully win, everyone. Whoop whoop. No way. I've seen people getting their Castles of Burgundy in. It started shipping? That's so exciting. Holy shit. That's very exciting. Orleans, now that is a game that could use the Awkward or Awakened Realms update treatment. Yes. Akin to Castles of Burgundy. I agree. There's a lot of like really good gameplay older games that deserve. Like they just don't, they don't look, they don't look good, but they, the, like, the game is really good and deserve it for sure. That's so exciting. It's okay. I know you're learning. Uh, this is a big game. Whoop, whoop. Thanks, Tim. I successfully achieved whatever it is that I did. All right. Anyways, friends, thank you all so much for joining me for today's stream. I will say right now, if you're still in chat, if you're still watching, I am um, over on my Patreon, which if you guys do not know, I do have the Board Game Garden Patreon, which is a great way to uh, support me financially if you can. Of course, it's never any pressure. Um, you're welcome to, you don't have to, and I appreciate you guys just being here regardless. But over on the Board Game Garden Patreon, every single month at the end of the month, I do a poll 
um, to help me figure out what the next month's solo focus is going to be. So I posted a poll a few days ago and it ends tonight. So I don't think like this might not be the end uh, game, but it's looking like it will probably be this one. Um, all of the different games in the poll this month were kind of lighter games, easier games to get to the table because I know a lot of people are really busy in July and August. So most likely these months are going to be some slightly easier games, some lighter games that are easier to get to the table. So the games that I put into the poll on Patreon, which you guys want to take part in voting, you guys are welcome to check out the Patreon. Um, and yeah, so the eight different games that are in the poll right now are Floriferous, Parks, Herbaceous, Cafe, Calico, Sunset Over Water, Tiny Towns, and the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. So these were the eight different games and the one currently in the lead right now is Parks. So it has 11 votes. The next one with the second most votes is going to be Cafe with eight votes. So it most likely will be Parks unless a lot of people come in and start voting for some other games, but it will most likely be Parks for July. That will be the monthly focus. I'm going to try my freaking hardest to get a live stream or start a live stream, do a live stream at the uh, beginning of July. So maybe next week, um, late next week, I will try to do a live stream opening up the, the monthly focus for the month. So starting off the month with a Parks live stream um, to get everyone excited uh, to play it for the month. And then I will most likely do another wrap up like we did today um, for Parks as well. If it ends up being Parks, like I said, it will most likely be, um, but yes, I'm excited. I feel like Parks is a really good one for July. A lot of people go out and hike and camp and stuff like that. So, um, so if you don't announce it on the video, how will we know? Just got to check what it is at the end of the poll. Um, so I will be announcing it for sure on the like solo sewing solo video. My like games I played in the month of June, I will be announcing it on that video as well, Emma. So keep an eye out for that. That video will be up at the end of next week. Um, so maybe the live stream might not be, um, until the week after next week, um, just so that people can know what the game is and then we'll do the live stream after that. Um, but yes, I will announce it for sure. Um, there, I will also maybe announce it in like a community post or something like that. Um, just so that you guys know for sure what the end result is. I will also announce it obviously on the Patreon. Um, but yes, anyways, friends, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and playing some Arc Nova. I really, really enjoy this game. It is very good solo. If you have not played it yet solo, I definitely recommend. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for taking part if you did in this solo monthly um, focus. I'm excited for Parks for July. I am crossing my fingers that it, uh, that is it. Uh, Okie dokie, we'll keep an eye out. Thanks for your streaming today. Thank you so much for joining Emma. I appreciate you. Um, Jessica, thank you so much for joining. Seth, thank you, thank you. Optimus Prime, hello, welcome. Ameritrash, thanks for joining. Tim, Vortak, Benjamin, I appreciate you all. Have a good rest of your Friday. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful long weekend. Um, spending time with friends and family if you do. Um, have fun. And yeah, I will see you guys on, if you do join for my Twitch stream on Sunday, we'll see you then. I will be streaming Oros solo, um, probably around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so yeah, I will see you then. But if not, I will see you in some videos on YouTube and in the next live stream here on YouTube. Bye friends.